the most powerful Intel Mini PC has arrived, which is the bigger brother of the Geekom IT13 2025 edition, and certainly more powerful than the Geekom GT1 Mega. Will this compact and powerful Mini PC deliver? Let's find out. So this is the Geekom IT15. Just like always, the unboxing experience is always very good. Out of the box is the Mini PC itself, covered in plastic packaging to protect the Mini PC from scratches, but it doesn't really need it since this Mini PC is very durable, especially in the this video. The all metal chassis is not only durable and pressure resistant but also helps reduce the risk of hardware damage from drops or impacts. Whether you're editing videos, processing images, developing code, or multitasking during daily office work, the IT15 delivers consistent smooth performance. Powered by the new second gen Intel Core Ultra processor, the Geekom IT15 introduces a bold architectural redesign. With a boost clock of up to 5.4 GHz, it handles demanding tasks such as graphic design, audio production, and coding effort. With up to 16 physical cores and no virtual hyper-threading, the IT15 focuses on delivering stable computing power through real cores. The IT15 offers one of the richest I.O. configurations in its class, 4 USB-A ports and 2 high-speed USB 4 Type-C ports, allowing stable connection of multiple monitors and accessories simultaneously. It can drive up up to 4 4K displays at once, perfect for multitasking or immersive entertainment. With cutting-edge Wi-Fi 7 and 3D spatial antennas, the IT15 offers superior speed and stability. Bluetooth 5.4 for more stable, energy efficient, and secure connections to headphones, keyboards, mice, and other peripherals. For professional wired networking needs, the IT15 includes a 2.5 gigabit per second LAN port, dramatically improving file transfer, server access, and remote backup speeds, making it enterprise ready. Pre installed with a licensed version of Windows 11, the IT15 is ready to use right out of the box. It also supports other x86 systems like Manjaro. Ubuntu, and Android x86. With the Ice Blast 2.0 active cooling system, it features a large heat sink, dual heat pipes, high efficiency low noise fans, and premium thermal materials, ensuring stable hardware performance without thermal throttling or overheating. The Geekom IT15 features a sleek matte black chassis, measuring just 0.46 liters or 1 80th of the size of a standard mid-tower PC. Despite its small size, it delivers desktop-level performance while saving space and maximizing efficiency efficiency, empowering you to work productively anytime, anywhere. And now finally, let's test this mini PC if it actually delivers. So we're finally using this mini PC, the IT15. And by the way, I am not using another PC to record this screen recording. I'm using the mini PC directly with OBS. So yeah, FPS values may vary. Let's go. I don't really know how to play this game, so I'm just gonna wing it. I suck at the FPS, dude. Where do I go? Oh, man. Oh, dang, bruh. Oh, my days, man. I'm dying, I'm dying. Why are they camping? Are we supposed to be camping, dude? I'm rushing. We're not terrorists, dude. We suck, dude. Okay, that's a lot of... How was my experience with CS2? It was very playable, actually. Okay, let's try another game. Sons of the Forest. Custom preset. Let's tune it down to medium for a much more enjoyable experience. Okay, so I've tuned it down to medium settings and it is very playable and still looks pretty good. Look at this, man. Let's get our axe because we're going to be cutting down some trees. Timber test. <laughs> Stunning visuals and impressive performance with this mini PC, dude. The second gen Ultra Core Knight. Oh, what the heck? Were those raccoons, man? Why were they dancing, dude? I'm just gonna roam around. I cannot chase those raccoons. This is... I haven't actually played this game. I've just kind of bought it on sale and this is kind of weird. So let's leave it right there. <laughs> Very playable. I did not have migraines playing the game. On to the next game, dudes. Most certainly that this mini PC can handle PUBG. Very well, actually. Okay, where do we drop? Or I don't care. Let's eject. I'm dying early anyways. I'm looting 90% of the time and so comments while playing the game. I'm enjoying it quite well. It's not lagging. I don't know in the recording. But yeah. Oh shoot. We're not gonna die, right? Okay, I cannot ride this vehicle. God dang it. What's this guy doing, dude? Bro, let's go. Oh shoot. Oh. 
It is an enemy, dude. Oh, god damn. Oh, I'm dead. Am I dead? I am dead. What was I doing back there? I am gonna have to leave the game. Goodbye. So how was PUBG with this mini PC? It was great, man. Okay, let's now try The Sims 4. My first time playing this game. And yeah, let's try it in this mini PC. Okay, I've actually set it up. What do I do here? Uh, outfits, travel. Okay, let's go travel. Okay, let's go to the gym. Let's work on our biceps, dude. My dude's an Asian with a mustache. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna go in the gym. Damn, Shardy's playing with the gym, bruh. Okay, what do we do now? He's building muscle, bruh. It's kind of a long way to go, but yeah, keep going. And now he's happy. A good workout always boosts the spirits. So where do we go? Okay, let's try this. Let's do this, man. You need to take a shower, bruh. Bro, she's laughing at me. What you talking about, bruh? They're hitting it off. Oh, she's actually cheering me up. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's reach level 2 of the fitness skill. So that's basically it with The Sims 4. In this mini PC, the Geekom IT15. So it's not laggy at all. You can play The Sims 4 here in this mini PC. And yeah, next game. And now we're gonna be trying Valorant. I've reconned and there were actually a lot of players that left. Okay, so Valorant is smooth. Gotcha. Gotcha, dude. God dang it. Why do I suck? Now we're cooking. <sighs> Who's camping? One kill remaining. And that's it. So that is it for Valorant. So pretty playable. You can do it in this mini PC pretty much. Okay, that was fast. Boom. You're dead. Run, bruh. Oh my days. What you doing, dude? They're pushing the wave, dude. Dude, come here, bruh. Oh, frick. Frick, I almost died. Oh my. God. Look, guys, I'm gonna steal this dragon. I We're getting defeated by a Nedali support. Oh! Bro, ult! Bro, kill this guy. Please. Run. Please run. We're gonna live. We're gonna live, bruh. We're gonna live, bruh. I did not live. He's dead. Shoot. Okay. Okay, we're dead. We're dead, dude. We're dead. What are you doing, man? No way. <laughs> Ignite's coming handy, dude. You're dead. You're dead. He's dead. In your face. In your face. I did not just leave my ADC and jungler. We have no I have no choice. We were going to die right there. Oh my oh, he dead. You freaking dead, dude. You're dead. <laughs> Oh my day, so what is this? I could have not played that any better. Get tracked. Get tracked. Get tracked, dude. Get tracked. Nice, well played, well played. Nice ult from me and nice ult from you. You finally use your ult. God dang it, you're killed. We're gonna get this dragon. We're gonna get this dragon, dude. Okay. Bro. Oh, god dang. Oh, what now, bro? Oh, I'm not, I'm not typing. I'm not typing. I am not typing. I'm not all chatting, bro. That was hype, dude. Bro, let's back. Let's back, bro. Let's not get cocky, then. Oh my days. What did I tell you, dude? Why was he staying over here? Oh my. Let's kill this guy, dude. 
Nice. You're dead. I am dead too. I'm gonna back, let's back. Let's back. Okay, we're dead. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run, dude. We've messed it up. Defeat again. So that's it for League of Legends. Uh, did I have fun? Absolutely. And was it playable? Absolutely. If you're playing League of Legends on this mini PC, you can absolutely do it. So on to the next game. Risk of Rain 2. I'm using the coolest champ in this game. If you want to play Risk of Rain 2 in a mini PC, you can absolutely do it in here in the IT15. What this game is all about is going through rounds of levels and buying stuff and buying items from these stuff like this. I don't know what I'm getting. It's like that. I have a bonus damage that breaks at low health and each level gets harder. Your mission is to find one of these, kill the boss and proceed to the next level. That's pretty much it. I enable this. There's gonna be a boss fight. So there's gonna be a boss that you have to kill. Oh, god dang. And yeah, first boss is very easy. Yeah, I'm not gonna continue this run. So yeah, Risk of Rain 2 is very playable and enjoyable in this mini PC. On to the next game. Okay, this game called Muck by Danny, popular YouTuber that produces high quality content about game dev. I don't even know what this game is all about. From what I've saw, it's kind of like Minecraft. Rock, what do I do with this rock? What's this? I'm destroying this tree with a rock. Open inventory and craft a workbench. How would I do that? Place the workbench with mouse. Nice. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. Let's get more wood. Or let's get all of these stuff. Settings, graphics. Uh, let's turn it down a little bit. Just like that. How do I craft this? Bark. I need a bark? Oh, I need bark. We now have a wooden pickaxe, so I think we can get stone. Okay, it's dealing zero damage. Okay, this one. Nice. Now I have six rocks, so... Cauldron. What can we do with the cauldron? I cannot craft a stone pickaxe, man, with a rock. I don't know why. We're also running out of wood. Should have crafted an axe earlier, man. Oh! Yo! I knew, I knew something was coming. Bro, they're destroying my workbench. Oh my days. Bro, chill. Chill, dudes. Oh my. Yo, help. Help me, dude. Bro, go away. Shut up. That was crazy. So now we're gonna be trying some productivity apps like editing apps. So let's try DaVinci Resolve since I've seen some comments that fits compatible with this type of mini PC. Let's create a new project and all we have to do is just drag some of these clips in our timeline over here. Let's head over to the editing timeline which is this page here. And yeah, so scrubbing the timeline is pretty smooth even though we only have integrated GPU. Let's put some text. Let's edit the text which put Geekom. I'm not gonna go in depth on the editing. You can pretty much edit on this mini PC with DaVinci Resolve. So on to the next software, guys. Next is Blender. I've seen some comments about Blender on previous mini PC videos. So we're gonna be trying Blender today in this mini PC. The problem is I don't know how to use this software, man. I don't, I do not know. Okay, you can move stuff around and zoom in, zoom out with the scroll wheel. How do I move this? Okay, man, 3D modeling is no joke. So basically, you can do some basic 3D modeling with this mini PC in Blender. But since I don't know how to use this software yet, I'm gonna have to leave my comments up to you guys. So yeah, on to the next software. And now we're gonna be trying Photoshop. So we're gonna be editing photos with the Geekom IT15 mini PC. So since I've kind of 
know how to use Photoshop as I've been using it for quite a while now actually. So I'm gonna search for Ecom IT15 images, copy image, then place it right here. Zoom the image so you can clearly see what, what I'm going to do. So let's put a drop shadow to the image so it, the image pops up. So as you can see, the drop shadow was not applied to the mini PC itself. So we're gonna remove that border surrounding the mini PC. So let's go ahead and quick selection tool, select the entire mini PC, copy the mini PC, paste it then i'm going to delete the original image which has the square border which we don't need and now if we're going to apply the drop shadow effect this is now going to be applied to the mini pc itself now we can adjust the drop shadow opacity distance and the spread and there we go and now we're going to add some text press t and go ahead and type whatever word we're going to type let's just say geekom it 15 and there we go resize it we're going to duplicate it so what we are going to do with this duplicate text is we're gonna remove the fill of this text and remain the stroke of the text if you know what i mean just see what i'm going to do right here so i'm gonna apply stroke and now it's going to look like this what we're going to do next is remove the fill of this text so the stroke only remains just like that and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna duplicate another text below to the one that doesn't have a fill on it and align it accordingly. This one as well over here. Then we're gonna select all of these texts, rasterize it, and then merge. After merging all of these texts, we can now go ahead and copy the text just like this. So we've duplicated all of the text. The final thing that we are going to do is bring this mini PC image layer to the topmost layer. So it's gonna look like this. So we need now made an edit for the Geeko Mighty 15 image in Adobe Photoshop. So you can pretty much do anything with this mini PC in Adobe Photoshop. You can pretty much run or edit some photos onto the next software. So now we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro. So now we're going to be trying editing our recorded video that we have recorded for this mini PC. And yeah, let's open a new project. Let's name it Geekom. Now we're here in the main panel of the Adobe Premiere Pro. What we're going to do is drag the recorded videos that we have recorded into the main timeline. Drag some of the footages, copy it right here. Okay, so we have some of the footages that we have recorded. What we're going to do now is drag this footage over here in the timeline. We can now edit the videos. So you can scrub the timeline pretty smooth, which is very good. It reloaded the videos pretty fast as you can see we can now see the audio waveforms of the videos geek geekcom it15 and we have some presets over here just like this one and it's not even lagging it's not bulging bro so yeah this is adobe premiere pro and geekcom it15 i'm not going in depth it's gonna take a while if i do that's pretty much it okay so that's it for the testing in this mini pc what do you guys think please comment down below geekcom it15 so that i know you're guys are watching and that's it from me my name is kipper and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video peace